<clears throat> Welcome to Per Excellence Tutorials YouTube channel. And if you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. You can also share the link with your colleagues uh, so that they can also benefit from these free tutorial videos. Okay. And um, we are doing a series of um, uh, thermal physics uh, questions. So if you have not watched the previous ones, you can check them out. Okay. So this question says an air bubble has a volume of 1.5 cubic centimeter when it is released by a submarine 100 meter below the surface of a lake. What is the volume of the bubble when it reaches the surface? Assume the temperature and the number of air molecules in the bubble remain constant during this as its ascent. Okay, so we have the height. Okay, well, the height or the length, which 100 meter, and the initial volume, which is 1.5 cubic centimeter. Now you have to realize that uh, this bubble, before it reaches the the the, the surface of of the lake or water, uh, it was coming from. It came from the fluid, meaning that it experienced also the fluid pressure. So we have to find the initial pressure. So the initial pressure, which is P1, is going to be a summation of atmospheric pressure on the surface and also the fluid pressure. This is rho or density and gravitational acceleration, and that is height. So we have gravitational acceleration, 9.81. And then we have also uh, density of water is 10 to the power three kg per, per cubic meter, right? Density of water. And then we also have, um, we also have, uh, uh, what this okay height we have already written and the um, atmospheric pressure we have one zero one three two five pascal okay so we are going to have pressure one which is one zero one three two five pascal plus density of water because that's the fluid or that uh, this bubble was, and we have uh, 8.18 big centimeter and also a height of 100 meters. Okay, so what we're going to have is, uh, Okay, we're going to have 101325 plus um, this is nine. Going to be one zero eight two three two five Pascal. So that is going to be our our initial pressure. So now having that, we can I think now be able to calculate the the final volume. Okay, so. We have, um, we are going to have our general gas equation. Now here we are told to say the temperature remained constant. Okay, so this equation reduces to 
to this state. So the initial volume is that one. And then the final volume, because the, the, the bubble has gone to the surface of the lake. So the final volume is going to, uh, the final pressure is going to be the atmospheric pressure. And we have calculated the initial. So we have, uh, we are looking for V2. So V2 is going to be P1 of P2, is it? Times V1, okay. So this is going to be P1108, Two three two five Pascal over the atmospheric pressure Pascal times the initial volume, which is one point five cubic centimeter, and that is going to give us um, one point It's going to give us 16, 16.02 cubic centimeter. So that is how we, we solve that one. Okay, thank you so much. Any question you can uh, drop them below on in the comment section, you can drop them or you can send them on my WhatsApp line that um, I have dropped in the description box.